be recording this. This is my awesome very first win in this game. Very first. I'm so excited. I worked my butt off to try to make sure I held out. I just did a war of attrition. I just held up and I had my mortar crew. It, it, it was great. So I'm going to fast forward it a little bit. Let's get towards a little more towards the action. So. Fresh conscripts have arrived. I'm a little slow at this game. I'm not perfect yet. I'm still learning. So I'm gonna fast forward it towards the action so you guys have something to look at. We have it. Fuel depot finished. We have the shock troops awaiting deployment. Okay, so we gotta hold all this, right? I had the mortar crew. The mortar crew is the first thing I got because I figured most of the time if we're going to be fighting for stuff, it's either at a point, MG squad I mean, that's orders. normally what happens in this game. This game's really interesting like that. Like, you, you can do one thing and then it does another. Like, one minute you can hold on to a bunch of stuff or whatever. I was kind of silly. I waited a long ass time to go get the other fuel things. I didn't know what was going on. So here's where we were fighting out for this one point. I popped him into that. I put the uh, engineers off. So, I mean, I think they got this point overall. Like, for most of the fight they held on to because I didn't really push up. I was just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to dig in. So most of it's just a big giant dig in. And I was see that's my my map awareness needs to be a little better. And I think he had most of this stuff held down for a while. So here's his fight, sorry. He had two of them right there, and then I pulled the mortar crew off, if I remember right. Yeah, here they come. Just to try to see if I can bunker bust him out of that damn thing near that house. And I'm just a little slow at this game. Like I'm still learning. I'm still trying to get the mechanics down. I don't know how to tab stuff very well. And mortar should be inbound here in a second. I had him held down for most of the game. HMG ready for action. They were pretty screwed. From the beginning of the game, he pretty much had he didn't really have much anything else. He went straight for the point and didn't have like defense for most of the game. I only held two points on this. Because I felt like, hey, well, if I can hold these two points, I'll be okay. Because normally every time I go for more than one point, I always get screwed. My mortar squad was like invaluable. Invaluable. We are ready. Watch out! Grenade! And my conscripts. It, it was just a great fight. Conscripts are alive. Good shooting, man. Do you need something? It took a minute to deploy. Oh my, see my mortar crew was just invaluable how accurate they were after a while. It was wonderful. It's probably one of the best games I've had. It's, it is my best game because it's the first game I've won. So. And the shock troops worked out great. So, it is just wonderful. I'll fast forward it a little bit towards a little bit more action. Cap this point, right? And this is where it started to get nasty. Because he started bringing in more stuff. And slowly but surely, I, I kind of worked my way around. It's kind of a slow game. If it was against a better player, maybe I would get my ass handed to me again. But, all things considered, I, I think it did really well. I see again, my mortar crew was invaluable. That whole time, they lasted the whole game. Whole game. It didn't matter, they were just all... 
was just to get some value. Nothing they could do. Because I set it up to where I could just get right in there. He had it first, right? He capped it first, which is interesting. But he couldn't hold it. Be brave, forces are attempting to capture our territory. German trying to crawl up there. Poor guy. He's not gonna get anywhere. And if I remember, I don't remember what I did. I think I made an infirmary and then I started building. I think I built. What else did I build? I built. Oh, and then he started going. I was a little late. I'm surprised they survived on it is getting now under our anti tank. You know guns ready to go, but other than that, I don't think I did too terrible. I mean, I'm a little slow. Like, that's just in general because I'm still not used to the whole mechanics and how to get stuff done quicker. Like, I know it's one of those games where you should get quicker, but it's not so bad that... Oh, and then I think I... Did I pull... See, this is the thing. Like, stuff like this. I should know better to do this. Like, if I know stuff's going for things... I send the conscripts out. I should have this extra MG crew all set up to go, ready to go to defend that top. So I probably wouldn't have any problems. Yeah, and stuff like that, like making putting my guys out in the open to get freaking shot off. That's dumb. See, and I have the MG crew sitting right here the whole time. See, this is stuff I just need to get better at. Grenade! I know I need to get better at. Man down! God, my mortar crew. Oh my god, they were so OP. And it was such a nasty fight, too, because he had, he had all the points in the beginning. He had everything pushed up. You know, it was pretty much his game. He, like... He even brought out the big guns, he brought out the tanks and everything else. I was a little late to the party, I probably should have brought out the, the anti-tank sooner, but... I don't know. I mean, I'm still learning. I'm not superly good at this game. But I love it. I absolutely love it. They did a wonderful job of it. And anybody who says they did is absolutely nuts. Maybe they played the first one more than I have, but still. This one's awesome, and I didn't. I, I don't. I don't know what I did right compared to him, for sure. Because I, I know he had the tanks out first. Like that was what he went for first. He went mechanized to see if he could take me out quicker. But he didn't have like he didn't go for like a half track or anything like that and get the little guys out first. See, that's what I would have done. Like if I had a problem with like just infantry, you go for a half track. Go for our little. See, like this, here we go, here we go. He keeps going for these big, giant, massive guns, right? And then here comes the mortar crew. Watch this, watch this. Here we go. Good old mortar crew. Always reliable mortar crew. And there's the grenade. We have taken out the field gun. The hard part will be keeping it. Yeah. I only had one engineering crew the whole time, which is interesting too. I bought, I lost a couple crews, I lost a couple things in the middle of the fight, but... See, like right here, you can hear it. Here it comes. Turn off the fog of war, I'm going to show you this real quick. See, look what he did here. He brought the tank up first, right? And he held out. I mean, like, I had to pull everybody back. I had to pull everybody back. I was just like, I was scared for a second. I thought I wouldn't make it. I had to pull back. There was just no way. I had nothing in this anti tank I had them all retreat. I mean, I probably could have fought, but still. And I'm not really good with the command thing either, so. I said, screw it, I was pulling them all back, and then ran them back, and then I reset. And that's probably my best move. Like, I've probably did the best move. I lost this first tank though, which, you know, makes it a little interesting. I know he's right there. But I think, he, like, he put all his money into one tank. Like, one tank. Like, he put all his money in one tank, and then I had time to, like, you know, build an anti-tank. 
as soon as it came up. I think it came up as soon as possible. Yeah, that was the first thing I bought. I was like, ah, <laughs> you some bitch. So let's fast forward it a little more. Yeah, it's not much. Dude, I got his tank to pull back. I mean, I think he went back and repaired it, more than likely. And if I follow the tank, this is uh, without fog of war. And I was a little slow. I should have brought these guys up, like, right as soon as I saw it. I mean, yeah, here they go. Slowly getting them up. So I can get that point back. Uh, and it's just a knockdown drag out just for that middle point and I was just surprised like the full depot like right here he had the full depot I don't know where and why he lost it but you know and I had shock troops here I probably could have sure run the shock troops the enemy on has like that. yeah here we go I did it They were worth wonders this game. Ah. Oh. See, if they're that close, I should know better because the mortars are going to sit there and shoot it. I think this is about the time I started trying to put fuel fuel depots everywhere to try to hold on to stuff. Yeah, this is absolute. And he just kept throwing engineer crews, which baffled me. I mean, you don't have grenadiers, you don't have anything like aside from just them. He may be a newer player. I'm not dogging him. Probably didn't know what he was doing, so. Like, like right there. I mean, look at that. That's just sick. Alright. Jeebus. AT gun is ready for combat. Yeah, and I had my AT guns up and everything else, because I was trying to prepare for another tank assault. Like, I think I did that correctly. Honestly, about all the things I did, I think I did that most correctly just because oh, here in a minute you'll see. Right here. This gets nasty. I had the upbreaker and I had to pull them around. Let's see where they're at. They're right here. See, I had setting like this. Nothing really like setting for this game. Because somebody, a better player is going to be like, oh, okay, so he's just going to have some stuff in setting. I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to fix his ass. 